I'm going to show you guys how to make a seven foot tall water wheel. Step by step. Let's get started. We're moving along. Got the rust off of one of these wheels. Got her painted black, one coat, put another coat on it later. I, before I did that, I put it on these two sheets of plywood, traced around it, and now we're going to take the jigsaw, cut all this out. And then that will go on the inside of one of those reels. And we'll do another one just like it, and that will be the inside part of the water wheel. Halfway done with the first one. And there's our seven and a half foot tall circle. So basically we took two two by, I mean, uh, two um, pieces of plywood, put them together, put the reel on them, outlined it. And that's what we got. All right, guys, so this is our homemade um, wood stain um, finisher. We took a, this little thing here, we put it halfway with diesel halfway with motor oil and we've mixed a little bit of wood stain with it to give it some color and uh, this is how we're staining and waterproofing our water wheel all right we've got our first coat of stain on with our homemade stain let her dry put another coat on all right so that is what the side of the water wheel is going to look like from the outside if you're looking at it you know as it's spinning it's going to look like that I don't like it. So I stained, again, I stained it, two, two coats of stain on it, and uh, screwed in all the edges. And there, and now there's a seam of plywood right there. Cut the circle out in the middle. Um, we're gonna weld on a piece of metal there with the actual um, flange in it for the shaft. That's what the outside's gonna look like. Let's flip her over and uh, start building the fins, I guess, on this side. Alrighty, so there's our fins laid out. These are cut at a 45 at this end. 45. And they're 43 inches long with a butt cut here. From the butt cut, it's a 11 and a half inches out on each one of them. As it hits the butt cut, Oh, and the butt cut's got to be also right on the edge of the reel, like that. And that's how I'll do that. Now we'll just mark them all with the chalk pin. And then pull them off, put silicone. Well, maybe I'll shoot them together here like this first. Put a little silicone in there, shoot that in there, and then slide it over, chalk it out, and then put silicone down there, and then go underneath and screw up into it to hold them into place. Or maybe I should just screw them into place right now and just put caulking right there. That's probably what I'll do, probably easier. Anyway, moving along. So I should measure from the inside, make sure we're, well, it can't be not the same, right? It's just perfectly round circle. All right, we'll look. All right, I got it fastened together and I shot one screw up through the, the bottom piece. So basically the best way to do this, I found, outline all your stuff as best you can, make your marks on top, but you're gonna wanna measure at a straight 45 across that, so straight off 90 off of this board, and then take that measurement and try to make them all the same as that. So nine, for me, it's nine and three quarters to this point this point right here and make them all the same and the way I did that is I did that but I also put my edge here and I put a screw one screw right here so I could adjust them all without the whole thing moving but I could adjust them with one screw that's eight eight of them those are two by 12 PT so now the next one will go up on top of it well I'm gonna have to make a box for that I'll just use uh, the parts of this I, I left over because I made these a 43, so I have like eight inch pieces or nine inch pieces left. So that's what we'll use. Okay, we got our uh, box in the middle for the spindle goes through. The spindle's not going to ride on that; it's just basically support for the middle of the of the wheel. Um, this is just the remainder of these eight foot two by twelves that we cut here. We cut them at 43 inches, which left us 
a perfect 13 inch building it that way you know it's a 13 inch square which is big enough to get around that inner metal circle that welded circle that's on this on the outside to um, screw the to screw up through the plywood into this um, you know without getting around that metal anyway guys coming along it's so ready to make the next reel outer reel the plywood and all that on the next reel Ready, reel number two painted stained and assembled we now need to put the five footer on right on top of this drill it and bolt it onto this seven and a half footer and that five and a half foot wheel that we're going to put on here is going to be our our pulley rider guide whatever actually we need to cut the the, the plywood that goes on the five footer we need to cut that and get it mounted all at once and then mount it to this so we need to paint we need to cut the plywood for the five and a half footer and then stain it and then we can mount it on top of here and over here we have the other half of the wheel like I said this is seven and a half foot and I made these out of cable reels took the middle struts out of them those are two by twelves cut it 43 inches with a 45 on the end and then from this point right here to this straight across at a 90 off of this board straight out is I think nine and a half inches I think if I remember right um, that caulking is actually rubberized caulking and the tube broke so that's why some of it looks kind of rough but um, it's flexible and it should work pretty good okay so there's our the base of the basic idea of our of our water wheel we'll have to be adding that top piece for the pulley part the five and a half foot part I'm gonna build it right now howdy guys welcome to the channel um, today in this video we need to take and line that five and a half foot reel up perfectly with the seven and a half wheel for the middle spindle we need to bolt those together because that Five and a half foot reel is going to become our pulley um you know that the pulley rides on is going to ride on that on our water wheel so that's what we're going to do today we're just going to lay that out drill through those main little fins those black fins there and mount that but for first we got to figure out exactly where the exact middle is so basically get the same distance around the outer edge of this thing all the way around mark it out and then drill it and that's what we're doing today well, that actually wasn't hard at all. Put it up there, kind of lined up my eyeball, and then measured it, and it's exactly one foot all the way around on these from here to the outer edge of this metal. So now we're just going to take and drill this right there, down through there, put a bolt there, and just basically bolt that sucker down to that one. So let's get on with it. Okay, so when you drill these, Unless you got an extra long bit, longer than normal. I'm using a quarter inch bit. So obviously a little bigger bit would be longer. Anyway, this bit barely makes it through the wood, through all these and through the wood. Put it all the way out as far as I can get it. So I made it. I only put one bolt in it for now so I can move it. So I could actually move it like that and then drill down through the plywood. And then I'll move them all back and put our bolts in. So... Might want to take note of that one. As you can see, first coat on the left, or second coat on the left, first coat on the right. So that second coat really does add some depthness to it. I'm just putting it on now, so when it dries, it'll still be quite a bit darker than that other side. Alrighty, so with the advice of a few people, I doubled up the buckets on my on my wheel. I took a two by eight, press treated two by eight. <laughs> take a look at this size. See, that's right on the seven. It's not even seven and a half anymore. <clears throat> Just be seven and a half inch. Now it's a uh, seven inch. <clears throat> kind of surprised me. So anyway, put the old table saw out of 45, rip that down. And then I <clears throat> cut the two by eight to lengths to match the two by 12 that's there. And I put it vertically just to double up the, the, the buckets there. And uh, now we're going to silicone them in and do what we got to do. 
Okay, we now have the second set of baffles, or bucket set on each each row. So now we have 16 sitting in there. We screwed them in on the back sides. First, I cut them all. Then I put some silicone down on where they're going to sit along the along this one and along the floor. And I took three deck mates and screwed in from the back. And all these, so our circle, as you can see, I think is ready to go. Um... I think the next thing is to put this other side, I think is where we are. Let's put that on top, screw it all together. Measure out that square in the middle so I know exactly where I'm hitting that. I think that's my next step. Okay, we're ready to actually put that second piece, the outside of it, on there. Got it all silicone so I can just put it on there and line it up. If we would just line it up with the outside of these, that'd be, I mean, those are all pretty much right on the, I mean, they're off a tiny bit, I guess. But, I mean, they're pretty much on the edge of that metal, and these two reels are identical. So I should be able to just line it up on the outskirts of these, line it up the same as it is on the bottom, I'm guessing. All right, well, wait for Justin to come out and give me a hand lifting that other top piece on there and screw it in. All right, guys, so the wheel is assembled. Um, seven and a half feet tall. We've got two by 12s on the middle, two by eight ripped at a 45 in the smaller ones. Uh, so we have 16 paddles in there, or buckets, or whatever you want to call them. So the only thing we haven't done so far on the assembly of this is we're waiting to weld the eight inch piece of metal that goes on here. That then I will drill through for the spindle to go through, then weld the spindle to the to the, to the uh, piece of metal. Um, I can't put that outer outer piece of plywood on that goes around the five and a half footer, which is what the the belt will ride on. So I can't put that on until I get that done. So after that, after I get those installed, those pieces of metal and drill for the for the spindle, then I can put that plywood on, and then we can haul it down to the creek and mount it down on that system, uh, the, the headers and all that stuff down there that we're going to put at the creek. Anyway, guys, until the next one, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. Alrighty, we went up and we welded the plate on. So basically there was a two-inch hole where the big rod for the cable reel went through. We have one-inch rod, or actually the hole was like two and a half, three inches. So we weld our one-inch rod on there, both sides. We basically measured from here to the inside rod, from there to the inside rod, from there to there, and from down there to there, and put it right in the middle. And I think it was uh, 44 and 5 eighths, both sides. Um, and lo and behold, we had it on a level floor. We put a level on it, it actually thought it was level. And then on this side, after we got that all done, we put the plywood back on this side, which is the runner for the belt. And I actually found a belt big enough before this thing on Amazon. I'll put a tag on that. Anyway, lo and behold. So one of my worries was finding a belt actually big enough to do this. I actually found a belt on Amazon for 30 bucks, 30, 35 dollars. That should be more than enough to get me down to a motor generator sitting down here. And I'll put a tag for that. It's um got it on Amazon. It was like 33 bucks or 36 bucks, something like that. I was kind of surprised. Okay, so today we're working up here on the where the water wheel is going to sit on. I took the track and dug two trenches. So basically from, from me out to the other pole. See those big rocks are? That's the middle of the, the part we didn't dig. And then over here on this side, we dug a trench that way. So that way we could adjust these width-wise as much as we had to. Then I put 20 bags of concrete down in there, dry poured it, and then put a little water on it. So we gotta let those sit, and tomorrow we'll uh, measure up our, first we have to go off the height of the pond when it's the fullest. Right now it's probably four inches low, maybe six inches low, as you can see. So those rocks, those big rocks right there, is the highest part. That's why we didn't touch that part. That's the highest part the creek or the pond ever gets this pond 
one in the dead of the winter. So we got to be, I'm going to put the wheel about four to six inches above those rocks. So from those rocks, I'll measure up four feet, cut all those posts off at that. And then uh, put my uh, four by six header on there. Be good to go. So guys, our water wheel closing up here. I want to show you a few things that I didn't cover. Um, I, our main beams on the on the mount that the wheel sits on, that's a four by six. And um, the wheel sitting right above the outer um, PT post that's in the water there. Um, and then the post come back and you got enough room to put your gearing and your motor on if you're going to go that route with it, with a generator. Um, also, for, for generator use, to get the torque, we added, so this here is the main 2x12 that's in the, in, you know, the setup of it, but we added um, a 2x4, a 2x8, and another 2x8 here to catch more water as it's going, which is, um, just helps with the torque of it, I guess. Um, the other thing we're going to do, that I haven't done yet, but we're going to move this flue out past the middle of the go out maybe another foot but i'm also going to raise it up a little bit um otherwise the uh, the flume would hit the the bottom of the or the top of the bucket there i have no clearance so i have to lift it up and move it out um also if you're building one just for looks not to generate power to where you don't need a pulley you don't need this outer rim the five foot rim we put on you wouldn't need that that is basically just to run this, to run the pulley on. Um, and the plywood on the outside of it is to show, is to keep that pulley on it so it doesn't work itself off. Anyway, guys, um, that's it, I guess, in a nutshell. Um, it's been a fun project. We're not quite done with it yet, but uh, we'll see what comes up next.